Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Carl. And I'm Jory. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. There will be a meeting of the Triumph Music Honor Society on Wednesday at 7.15 in room 114. Attention all Ephrata Bible study attendees. Our last gathering for the year will be this Wednesday, May 3rd at 7 o'clock in Mr. Buck's room, room 118. Also, don't forget that this Thursday, May 4th, is National Day of Prayer. All students are welcome to meet at the flagpole outside of the front entrance at 7 o'clock to pray over the school and community. Interested in taking college credits while still attending high school and saving money? Check out the dual enrollment website located on the guidance page. Attention to all the sophomores who, who turned in a petition for the vice president office for the class of 2019. There is a petition without a name on it. The voting will be on Friday, May 5th, so if you need to see Mr. Shortis in room 109 to be added to the ballot by the end of the day on Thursday. Attention freshmen, this is a reminder that fundraiser form and money for the new sub sale are due in room 214 this week. Remember that this fundraiser is very important to your class in future years, and the forms not returned result in an obligation, so get those forms and monies to 214 this week. Now over to Carl with lunch. Today for lunch we have a pasta bowl, uh, meat sauce or chicken alfredo with a whole grain garlic breadstick, barbecue bacon chicken sandwich, Papa John's pizza, ham club on toast, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, buffalo chicken salad, and the sides are roasted cauliflower, tomato and zucchini medley, grape tomatoes with dip, assorted fresh fruit, or a slushie. Now over to Angel with sports. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. Screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. In sports result, softball lost 16 to 1. Girls lacrosse won 19 to 10. The girls track and field team moved to seven wins and zero losses with nine, with a 93 to 57 win yesterday at Salenco. Jenny Young was a double winner for the Lady Mounts, while Sarah McGivern, Natalie Zimmerman, Lauren Cockle, Haley Schaller, and Chelsea Brubaker all had singles wins. The boys lost the ho to the host team Salenco 53 to 96. Eli Bazanga, Mike Ward, AJ Morales, Tyler Shue, and Zach Lefevre each had wins for the boys team. Attention all boys interested in playing basketball next season for the high school team. There will be a player-parent meeting on Wednesday, May 3rd at 6.30 in the middle school cafeteria. We will be going over schedules. Please make sure you or a parent are able to attend to get all the information. Today, track is home versus Lebanon and volleyball is away at Garden Spot. That's it for sports now, back to the main desk. Attention all students preparing to take the Biology Keystone exam this month. Bio Boot Camp starts next week. Sessions will be held Monday through Thursday after school in the cafeteria from 2.45 to 3.30. Students must stay until 3.15 to receive their bonus ticket. Please bring your laptop. Students taking AP exams, remember to check the AP testing schedule posted in AP classrooms and on Schoology. Attention juniors, any student interested in running for class officer position for the 2017-2018 school year should pick up a petition from Mrs. Schubert in room 209. Petitions are due by Thursday, May 4th. Elections will be held on Friday, May 5th. Seniors, it's time to celebrate your future direction decisions. You spent the majority of your senior year trying to decide what your future holds and where you would like to be next year. And now we would like you to tell the entire EHS student body and staff. EHS Decision Day 2017 is set for Friday, May 5th. All seniors who have made the decision to further your education by attending college, technical or trade school, art or nursing school, or who have enlisted in any branch of the armed services are invited to participate in Decision Day. You are encouraged to show your pride and support by wearing a shirt displaying the name and or logo of your future school or branch of the military on Friday, May 5th. Don't forget, as well, we will be getting group pictures of all the seniors wearing their college slash military gear. Also, seniors, be sure to email your counselor, send them a school, Schoology message, or drop by the counseling office to drop your counselor a note about where you'll be headed next year. 
Your picture will be posted on the bulletin board outside of the counseling office for everyone to, everyone to see. Check out this college example and don't delay. And now it's time for today's college trivia question. True or false, applying for financial aid is not worth the trouble. The answer is false. Although it takes time to complete the free application for federal student aid and CSS financial aid profile, doing so unlocks the door to $185 billion in financial aid available to qualified students. That's it for us today. Have a great day, Ephrata. Just here and there, just give a least little indication, pull a little bit down. And then, a clean fan brush, we can just pull that right in. It'll help.